I've stayed in the same place for about six or seven years. Uh, and in those years, I've learned a few things about keeping your place tidy. And by place, I mean studio or like workspace. Uh, so if you have about five minutes to, to spare, uh, then uh, use that to learn something new. It's a few common things. It's a few not as common things. Uh, but I thought anyways, it would be a good idea because keeping your place tidy is quite hard. And these like smart things has taken me a few years to actually get done. Uh, and I'm, I'm leaving to Gran Canaria for four weeks in three days. And I'm shooting about three or four nightclubs tonight. So my place is a bit messy, but I've tidied up a bit. So don't leave any comments or leave any comments, but don't negative ones or something. Yeah. Now, the first item on this list is a bit of an expensive one, but it is 100% worth it and it has changed the way I clean my room. And that is a portable vacuum cleaner. And before you click on this video, just let me ask you this. How long does it take for you to just clean up a simple mess in your room with your regular one? At least for my part, it takes way too much time, but just the thought of doing it or just getting to do it is the thing that makes you not do it if that makes sense. So it's not like the time alone, it's just the simple task of having to do all the stuff around it. And with this portable one, it's like just taking off the handle and then start. Having this is a game changer. The second thing on this list is a bit of an uncommon one and I haven't really seen it anywhere else. And that is receipts. As a creative, you get a lot of them and you usually have to keep them. And especially if you're running a business, so first of all, I tried keeping all my papers in folders. So I would come home, put them in a folder, put it back and then do my thing. And it just ended up by flooding everywhere. So I invented this receipt holder. So this is a receipt holder 3000 and you leave it in an easily accessible place where either by your entrance, entrance at your room or somewhere you would be likely to go after being outside. And this is where I keep all my receipts or papers. I can't really show you because it's a lot of sensitive information there, but I just dump them there and I go do my thing. And then maybe once a month, maybe like every third month, I go through them and sort them into different places. I also usually just end up getting rid, rid of 50% of it, but now it's not laying around my house. And the, the best thing about this receipt holder 3000 uh, is that you can get it in all sorts of shapes. Uh, just a box which is easy to get to and doesn't take any effort because that's the point. We're cleaning with minimal effort. Now the next thing on this list is a uh, fancy velcro tape. I think some of you have heard about it before, but it's basically like a sticky velcro tape which you can use to basically fasten or attach anything to anything without using holes or spikes or tape of some sort. So I'm using it on a lot of stuff and it's this you see there. Uh, which you also can attach to the walls and you get a lot of wiggle room when it comes to adjusting the image. It holds a lot of weight and the most important thing is that it doesn't leave any residue when you eventually take it off. So it's perfect. I use it here, 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 here and here. Yeah. So you should buy some. It's called 3M, at least the ones I'm using. 3M Velcro something. Number four. First, I'll have to warn you about the product, and that's those cool, small vacuum cleaners. They just don't work, so don't buy one. And the simple reason for this is that real dust has a tendency to stick to the surface, and the small vacuum cleaners doesn't have enough force to deal with it. As you see in this example, it doesn't really work, just don't buy one. Uh, just go with a cloth or this next product that I'm going to recommend, and that's a reusable, washable clothes roller. It works for everything, my keyboard, my clothes, my table, my mouse pad, and literally anything that has dust or any flat surface that has dust on it. And the thing that makes these stand out compared to other clothes rollers is the fact that you can wash them, just rinse them in warm water and within, I'm guessing 30 seconds, they're dry and you can use them again. I've been using this same roller for at least eight months now, and it's still working as if I bought it yesterday. Next one. We all have drinks on our desks, and the issue with that is that they're usually usually sticky, they leave a mess, uh, you get marks on your table, and those small 
cup holder paddy things doesn't really work. So my solution to this is a mouse pad. It's literally just a place where you leave all the sticky things you wouldn't like touching your desk, which has the advantage of looking cool, easy to rinse, and it's a lot bigger than the usual cup pads. So just get the mouse pad. Now I spared the most important item to the very last because it's a very boring point but it is still such a big part of keeping your studio clean and that's a trash can. And before you click off this video thinking you have everything, the point I'm trying to make is that you need the trash can at least like at arm's reach if not even closer. I don't really think people understand how important it is to have a trash can and especially as close as this. I used to not have it as close and it would just end up leaving trash everywhere. So keep a trash can and keep it super close and we would be all set to keeping a spot free studio. And that's about every single item I have. There's a few more smaller ones, but I guess those are for another video. I currently have 13 subscribers, so if this made any sense at all, and it looks like I'm going in the right direction, please either like the video or subscribe, it would mean a lot. It doesn't really feel right talking about it, but I've heard countless times that you have to ask for subscribers for them to subscribe. So if you don't mind, then yeah, uh, and as I said earlier, I'm uh, leaving for four weeks to Gran Canaria, where I'll be working at the hostel. So I guess uh, the next video, if any, will be about working abroad or also called volunteering. But anyways, hope you learned something. Yeah, bye.